Hey guys, we are back here for another episode of this squad builder guys. Please make sure to drop a like and subscribe down below guys. Please make sure to comment on any more squad builders you would like me to do next. That'd be greatly appreciated guys. I am thinking about the um, Spanish League guys or the um, Spain nation. Um, but just let me know guys down below what you want me to do. But anyway, today guys, we have an English squad builder. This time around it's going to be an English silver squad builder. Now guys, as you can see here, it's a very, very nice looking team, guys. There isn't any more, there isn't any informs out at the moment, from what I've heard. And I've had, a, I've actually had a little look around because I was going to pick a, a couple up, but um, there's not many, any, there's not, there's none out at the moment. So um, that's a bit of a pain in the ass. But as you can see, it's a very, very nice team. Um, we had Butland in goal, absolutely brilliant goalkeeper, guys. Make sure to keep keep an eye on him if you're making a team and stuff because he is absolute beast, guys. In the centre back you've got Dyer and you've got Mancien, a very nice pair guys at the back. Um, they are so, so crucial guys for this team, it's ridiculous. And um, I want to talk about Mancien guys. Mancien is one of those sort of players that's been on loan at a, a range of clubs. Can't seem to really get his career going, but since he's been at Nottingham guys, he has been absolutely unreal. Um, obviously got Norton in right back, is another really, really good right back. And we've got Cresswell on left back. So two over really good left backs and right backs. They both do the trick really, really well. Uh, make sure to keep an eye out, guys, on um, Norton. He's a very good right back. He's very, very naughty in the game. He is so, so good. Um, but we're now going to get into a little game as well, so you'll see why these, some of these guys are really, really decent, especially when it comes to Butland. Um, we've got Livermore in defensive midfield. He's a very, very decent guy, decent uh, defensive midfielder overall. He's probably one of my most favourite defensive mids when it comes to actual Premier, I oh, know the Empire Championship and even just the England nation. He's so, so strong, guys, in that defensive mid position. And our two centre midfielders, we do have Mr. Lambry. This guy didn't know too much about him at all. Had no idea who even this guy was um, until I actually found him out in the body transfer market or the auction market. And um, I found that he was actually pretty decent, guys. Another player we do have is James Ward Prowse. It's not an England team without James Ward Prowse. I mean, you've got to have this guy in here. You're seeing the game coming out, guys. How good this guy is at shooting. It's stupid. I mean, he's only like 69 shooting, I think. It's just ridiculous. And he's scoring, but he's screaming outside the body box. He's a brilliant midfielder, guys. Keep an eye out on him if you're making a silver team. He is so, so brilliant. Um, in our left mid position, we do have Jarvis. Now, he was one guy, I'm not sure who to get in that left mid position. We had Antonio, but I don't know if I like him or not. He's just way too quick, and the rest of his stats just don't. I just don't, I don't, I don't like him. And the other, um, another player you can pick uh, you can pick up is Sinclair. He's another really, really good player. But to be honest, guys, I have to go with Jarvis. A bit more quality in there, and he's really, really good. In right midfield, we all know, we all know the really good player, guys. It's Mr. Redmond here. This guy just cuts it, guys. He is so goddamn good in that right mid position. So, so quick down the wing. Nice bit of dribbling on him. Nice shot. He is brilliant. And last but least, it just has to be, guys, it just has to be Callum Wilson. This guy is unbelievable. I've had him for so long now, guys. And he's just scoring goals outside the buddy box, left, right, and center, guys. He is one hell of a striker. It's ridiculous how good this guy actually is. But um, overall, the team is brilliant, guys. The defense played really, really well. Uh, this is obviously the team we did come across. It's a nice little team here. But um, to be honest, guys, this actual team we made was just brilliant for a young squad. I mean, half of them are like only in the early 20s, like 21, 22. And half, a lot of them still playing under 21s. And it's ridiculous how many, how many sort of players are coming up for the youth ranks for England now. It's ridiculous how good some of these players are, especially when it comes to Redmond. Butland is the next... Um, Joe Hart from what I've heard and you've got players like Dyer, probably the next buddy, John Terry or the next Gary Cahill but uh, overall with the game guys we played really really well um, he had a really obviously really really decent team it's a lovely shot here by James Ward Prowse just showing off his shooting right there an absolute rocket into the bottom left hand corner this guy honestly I don't know what else to say about him he I reckon he's probably going to be the next Gerard guys he is brilliant I um, haven't seen much of him for Southampton, obviously not playing too well Southampton at the moment, but he is just an absolute beast. I mean, he's like, I think it's 1994 and he's already got like 83 passing on his card already. It is just, just, it's just crazy, man, how good this kid actually is. Um, we played really, really well though. Um, overall, I think, I think the boys handled it. 
I mean, it was a very, very good team. He had a very nice bit of attack there. I think there was informed clothes he had in there, which was really interesting. But um, Butland, honestly, he handled them like he's. Look at some of these saves for crying out loud. This goalkeeper, he has to be probably next Joe Hart. He has to be. It's just, he's got to be the next Joe Hart. It's just unbelievable what he does in that goal. Um, another shot there by James Ward Prowse. I just had to go in as well. Another, another very similar goal. It's a little bit closer to the goal there. In the bottom left hand corner, he just sinks it straight in. Way too easy. This guy is just absolutely brilliant for, for a centre midfielder. He can play attacking mid and you can even try him in defensive mid. I haven't tried him in defensive mid before, but apparently he's meant to be pretty good as well. But he's, he's like an Arturo Vidal, to be honest, guys. He is absolutely brilliant. There you go, another good save there by Butler. But overall, guys, this team is just brilliant. Even if it, I mean, you can use them for fitness squads as well, guys. They're just so, so good. They gel so, so well. I mean, you can even chuck in a couple of bronzes, and that bronze player will perform so, so well. It's ridiculous how good these guys perform on the park against these really big, topped up premium goals. I mean, this was Division 5, guys. And um, this kid had a lot of decent plays. He had like Thiago, he had. Um, I don't know, he had, he had a range of players in there, really top players, and they performed so, so well against them. And um, it's really good to see that they're doing that. I mean, 2 0 up against a pumped up squad, and there's the statistics there. So we're kind of really, really all over him. Butland, honestly, guys, I don't know what else to say about him, but he is just incredible in goal. I mean, look at that save for crying out loud. Ridiculous. He just, he's one of the keeper, he just chucks his whole body at it. Um, he does let that one in, it was a pain in the bloody ass, but um, he tried his best. I understand that, Mr. Butland, I do understand it, my friend. Um, but that was a bit of a pain in the ass letting that one in. Um, but there was a couple of weaknesses with the team, though, guys. I've got to get that across. Dyer does tend to slack off. I know he's an absolute beast of a centre back, but he tends to slacken off a bit too much sometimes. But apart from that, guys, uh, Mancian played absolutely brilliant. His block is ridiculous for a centre back. He is so, so good. Um, but overall, the team is really, really good. Just try them out, guys. They're so, so sick. A really cool team to test out, and they're really cool teams to play with overall, especially when it comes to that attack with Callum Wilson and Redmond, and even Jarvis. You'd be surprised at how good he is. So I hope you've enjoyed the episode, guys. I think episode two I'll make it this time for the squad builders. Uh, let me know, guys, what other teams you want me to make. I'll keep bringing them out every second day, guys, of the squads, and I'll be bringing out Building Palace next episode. Um, and yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. Please make sure to drop a like and subscribe, guys. Please make sure to check out some other episodes. They're on the screen, probably in about 20, 20 seconds, if that. Um, please make sure to check them, check them out. And uh, please uh, drop a thumbs up, guys, if you actually are enjoying all this, this whole episode and this little series. And yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Cheers, guys.